Win tonight it was uh, good to get another uh, game in the win column. I was very, very pleased with the um, intensity in the first half and um, just thought that first 20 minutes was, was uh, pretty pretty tough. We, we played really, really hard that first 20 minutes. Uh, clearly didn't have as good of um, effort there in the second half, and that's going to be the challenge for this team is to try to figure out how to keep the intensity going, and it's not easy. It's, it's difficult to do. So that'll be a big challenge for us, and, and, and I think this group will be up to it and um, see what we can learn from sort of a, a, a very performance there tonight. Some real good and some not so good. So we'll see if we can learn from that. How much do you think the second half had to do with playing two nights ago? You know, I don't know. I don't think it, that was it. I think that uh, our second group really, uh, for whatever reason, uh, didn't come with a lot of intensity tonight in the second half. And so I thought the first group, um, Northeastern did some good things, some, made some good adjustments at halftime, but that first group still scored. And I think it was... Uh, it was 12-9 that first four minutes, and so we we had made some good plays, and then the second group was really really uh, subpar tonight, low energy. So if we don't have everybody really clicking, you can see it sort of looks uh, a little little bad there in the second half. But I don't think I don't think that had much to do with it tonight because kids that played two nights ago, Adi Matches played terrific, played real hard with intensity. Amber Smith played with intensity. Um, you know, Asian Bishop played with some intensity, so I, I think it was more mental um, instead of physical. Tell me what you saw tonight from those two freshmen. I mean, they especially did good work on the last two offensive classes, especially. Well, I, I thought Asia, just the way she carried herself and the way that she, um, her presence on the floor was much better than what it has been, and that's a good sign. Uh, she made a lot of freshman errors uh, once she got, she worked hard to get offensive boards. That's a good sign, too, that she's in there mixing it up. Just brings the ball down way too much, and uh, those are things that can be corrected with some experience. So I like the way that she carried herself. I'm not real pleased with uh, with Goss's defense tonight. I just didn't think she had a good defensive night. But one thing that I found out about Bria Goss, if you'll bring it to her attention, she'll try to get it straightened out. So. I, I, I like those two freshmen. I think they're good players. Ali and Riley weren't on the bench tonight? Uh, Riley had a test, so she went to the test, and Ali is suspended uh, for uh, failing to go to a class. So you have one going to class and have a test, and then one doesn't. Was it just one, she, a one game suspension? Or? Uh, we'll see. It's day by day, it's indefinite. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Rache's having a tough time um, with, you know, the adjustment to college life, and so we have to try to get her attention because we're going to go to class here in Kentucky.